So what we see in this Ipsos report is that uh, overall LGBTQ plus people and the rights and their rights are generally finding acceptance among the European populations. However, the report also points towards differences, especially between East and West, where we see that people in, Eastern, in some Eastern European countries are more wary or more uncomfortable sometimes with LGBTQ plus rights. So a reason for this might be that we've seen a lot of active political mobilization especially in countries like Poland and Hungary where there have been LGBTQ plus free zones or discriminatory legislation that has been implemented. And this might account for the differences we see between East and, uh, and West Europe. So now for the EU there's a bit of a challenge to try to really make sure that LGBTQ plus rights are fully enforced within the entire EU and in all member states. Uh, LGBTQ plus rights are part of uh, EU treaties and uh, non-discrimination is a big part of what the EU does. So it's been very important for EU institutions to make sure that LGBTQ plus people are fully respected and that the rule of law is really implemented. Because this issue of LGBTQ plus rights is not going to go away. We see a lot of young people that care very strongly about free inclusion of people regardless of their gender identity, regardless of their sexual orientation. And overall, uh, younger generations are much more tolerant towards LGBTQ plus uh, people and also much more willing to see their rights being fully uh, executed uh, in comparison to their parents or their grandparents. So this is really kind of indicative of a sea change when it comes to support for LGBTQ plus rights. And I think this also uh, brings about larger questions for organizations, companies, universities to try to really uh, take LGBTQ rights and policies towards LGBTQ people uh, really serious. And that means uh, making sure that discrimination is not um, allowed within the, the, the working environment, that LGBTQ plus uh, people feel really included in organizations, and that also there's a lot of policies in place that circumvent discrimination and harassment. And I think it's really important for organizations not only to talk the talk, but also to walk the walk, i.e. you know, diversity is not only a fact, but also what we really need is that inclusion becomes a big part of the practices within companies, organizations and governments today.